-huh. Money issues must be talked to before marriage. Yeah. How are we going to deal with money issues? You can say that again. It's always good to be transparent in the area of money. If the woman has 30k and the man has 50k, mm. that house has only 50k. <laughs> because <laughs> so that 30k is not, yeah, mama, it's I, I, not I, I part of the, yeah. <laughs> the not money. part of the family money. Yeah. <laughs> if we're in this marriage to stay, why do we want to have some money that belongs to me alone? and I'm not going to share it, and it is my marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's almost like treating like this home ni yako. Mimi hata mimi ni wako, so wee fanya vile utafanya na sisi. Hi viewers, welcome again. Uh, this is part three in the Family Matters program uh, on conflict in marriage and how we can resolve them. It's been a good conversation and we want to thank God for our guests who have been very gracious to be with us and uh, just to take us through this. A lot of wisdom that they're sharing from their own lives. And, and so today we are back again and we want to uh, ask you to stay put I know that you shall be blessed. God bless you so much. And so I welcome you again now to part three of conflict, solving conflict in marriage. Bishop Robert and uh, Leah Jiro. Karibuni sana. You can just say hi to our viewers. Uh, Bishop, we can start with you. Hi, viewers. Uh, we are back talking about conflict resolution. We are back. Thank you. Karibu sana. Pastor Leah. Mm, another time. Thank you very much, viewers, for having us still talking on conflict resolutions and believing God that our families will be better. Amen. They will definitely be better mm. because we have the wisdom of God mm. and, and we're also talking from an experience mm. of many wow. years mm. uh, of people who have walked uh, <coughs> with God and, and, and walked in the fear of God. And so, Karibu Nisana again. Mm. And uh, today we really want to be able to look at what are the solutions or how can we resolve conflict in a healthy and also godly way because we are Christians. But before we go to that, probably I know we on, were only able to talk about maybe one of the common areas of conflict, which is finances. And I would want probably to hear from you, from what you've learned in your own lives and what you've seen as you have worked with many other couples. I know you cancel many couples. What is this, uh, what is one other common area or, the, or cause of conflict? Well, um, conflict, we, we just touched one area, that was a financial conflict, and uh, or conflict in finances, but there are many other areas yes. that uh, <coughs> you as a couple, you need to deal with, or you find yourself in them. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we are talking about, you know, the, we are not talking about the types of conflict. We are talking about the causes mm. of conflict. That to me on kwanza ni financial. <coughs> well, you can also look at uh, the ego, mm -hmm. the pride. You know, there are people, mm. when they got married, they have never come down because when I married my wife, mm. every person, we normally say that there is no perfect marriage. Eh? Yes. There is no perfect marriage. Mm. At a bishop, at a bishop, at a nanny. You wanted you, to you see at a pope, then yeah, yeah, pope a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> we are dealing with the same, same things. Yeah. The same things in the marketplace. That is true. The same things that affect you, viewers, mm. are the same things that affect us mm -hmm. as preachers or as men of God. Yeah. And each person is born with an ego. Ego is your own personality, your pride. Mm -hmm. Your pride. Yeah. And I normally say that issues to do with marriage, it's all about happiness. Mm -hmm. It's all about happiness. That's uh, my biggest statement about marriage. Mm -hmm. So whatever I can do to calm down, to be happy, mm -hmm. 
I married my wife so that I can be happy. That's right. Yes. Adam she makes me very happy. Mm. <laughs> Just to look at her like this, mm -hmm. I become very happy. You feel good. She makes my day bright. Wow. Every day. That's four day. years later. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have three beautiful children. Mm. But they don't make me as proud or as bright, as happy mm. as she she does. Wow. That's my sisters don't. My mother doesn't. Yeah. Nobody else does. Yeah. Church members they don't. But she prays that important part. Mm -hmm. So I find that I have to lay down my ego mm -hmm. because of my happiness. Because she has my happiness. Yeah. Power She's the source yeah. of my happiness. Yes. So even if I'm proud to all of you, all to the whole world, <laughs> I don't want to be proud yeah. to this one, to her. Amazing. Because she, if, if, if I'm hurting myself. Mm. I'm hurting myself. Yeah. So pride, ego, is one thing that mm -hmm. causes conflict. If you are st still there, you are still on top of that tree, mm -hmm. you don't want to come down. Utakai kuwabiwa na wanawake, utakai kuwabiwa na watu, you know, such kind of Emma, you think you're, you came to her life to help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are people who, who marry somebody mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. feel like, you know, all those kind of things that make somebody feel like she mm. needs to be listening to me, she needs to, you know, mm. just toe the line because I'm the one who did. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because I choose to read marriages give and take. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give and take. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not in, uh, you get a conflict if in one marriage, mm -hmm. especially in a dying marriage, yeah. one person is left pulling mm -hmm. and the other person is doing nothing at all. <laughs> watch so when mm -hmm. you have a problem, a problem arises in your marriage, one person wants it solved, mm. the other person is not true, not doesn't want it solved. Yeah. It's a one-way, yeah. one-way traffic. So one party is pulling, the other party is not pulling. Mm. It's just, it wants it to autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage does not autopilot, no. happiness in marriage is made. The other sensitive part in conflict management mm. or resolution is uh, and uh, is a big cause of conflict is sexual, mm -hmm. sexual things, yeah. sex in marriage. Yeah, if just you talk to, to that. Yeah, talking to many many couples. Yeah, you find that that is their source of problem. It's a big issue. Source of problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe the wife has grown old now, or the man has got of a uh, demand. Okay. Uh, the surprise is not there. Yeah. There's so much demand that there is no, <laughs> there is no demand supply. Demand and supply are not uh, from agreeing. From one quarter, yeah. demand and supply does not bar us. Yeah. You find that is a conflict. Yeah. And many people are moving out of their marriages in search of oh. greener pastures mm -hmm. in that area. So sexual satisfaction yeah. is very, very, very important. And uh, uh, we don't have time, you know, to go deep mm. into this. Uh, the many ladies and the many, uh, even some men, yeah. they need to see some sex, uh, sexual uh, therapists uh -huh. so that uh, you can ask for help. Yeah. You can ask for help. So a solution there, I think you're offering a solution there. As you said, maybe we don't have yes. time to go deeper, yeah, but that's, that's, a big, um, yeah, that's a big cause of conflict. It's a mm. big cause of and conflict. And a, a cause of actually infidelity in mm. marriage and mm. a lot of frustration mm. when people feel like I'm not satisfied in my family. Uh, Bishop has said uh, the wife is growing old, uh, and I was just wondering whether the man is not growing old also. <laughs> Men don't grow old in that area. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pasalea for once does not agree with me. <laughs> but, I, but I like what you've said, that actually this is an area of conflict in yes. the marriage um, where the demands are not being met. Mm. And so when the demands are not met, they lead to disappointment, mm -hmm. they lead to anger, and people can have a lot of disagreements. Mm. And if there's an issue in that area, there is help. Mm. There, is help. there is help. There, there is help. There are people, mm. you can go to, to mm. somebody you trust, mm. you can actually go to a sex therapist. But even, uh, even beside that, people can go to a trusted couple. Mm. 
Yes. Maybe there are people who may not be able to reach a, 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 a therapist, mm. but they can go to a trusted older couple that can help them mm. to be able to resolve. How do we amicably deal with this issue? Because it's major. That's why they got married. Mm. Pastor Lea, um, I don't want to ask you that question, but uh, what would you say about the causes of conflict that uh, Bishop has mentioned? Uh, I would say this one of uh, sex is mainly uh, also a major thing because uh, I think at different levels uh, the people as uh, a man and a woman behave different sexually or yeah. they have the different sexual interests yeah. Yeah. so sometimes uh, I think it's a more of a learning uh, uh, maybe help place mm -hmm. whereby we need to know this is the age of my wife, my mm -hmm. husband and yeah. this is how they are behaving now, mm -hmm. this is how um, the, the wife is behaving yeah. and it's not anything like intentional, mm -hmm. it's like uh, it's an age issue. Mm. So it's when a more biological, yeah, biological. Probably, so if they are able to learn each other yeah. and maybe agree that this is how I, I am feeling, and maybe hear from somebody else, mm. as you say, yeah. because sometimes we are closed up in our own differences, well, mm. which mm. are affecting other people, yeah. and they are still struggling with them, or they are making it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can try to discuss it with your age mates, mm. because mm. every couple has their age mates, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and see whether. Benchmark. It, yeah, yeah. It, Benchmark. Well, yes. Yeah. Whether, whether you could be saying you are the worst mm. and maybe you are not the worst. Other people are struggling. Yeah, and you them. know now when it comes to infidelity, what you have talked about, mm. now it goes from bad to worse mm. to it's worse. Dying. It's dying. Yeah, because <laughs> now when this person feels that I'm not satisfied and they go to look for yeah. another area of satisfaction yeah. will kill it the will marriage. kill the yeah. marriage, Killing the marriage yes. so I think sorting out has its own dynamics but mm. people can embrace those dynamics to sort it out thank you mm. I think you brought yeah, another you area of faith is the area of the in-laws mm. the families yes the interference mm. into marriage that's also a big big area of conflict how do I how do I deal with my parents? Yes. And how does she deal with our people? Mm. Uh, the Bible says my people will be, your people will be my people. I don't know whether in your marriage you have made her people to be your to people. Be your people yeah. Are you accepted? Mm -hmm. Do they accept you? Yes. Or they rejected you? Mm. And uh, you are you are people. She has also become part of your people mm. because whereby people have not really integrated yeah. and become one. Mm -hmm. I married her, she's not one with my family. Yeah. She, so she's more pulled to her, play, to her parents and yeah. they are more pulled to my people. Uh, my mother is the one who speaks into mm. our house, our family, in our yes. marriage. Yeah. Our mother speaks to her. Kira mm. mutu forces that yeah. are pulling kutoka kwao, that marriage will be conflicted. So you basically have not left. Yes. You, you have, have really not left. not left, you mm -hmm. have not cleft, yes. cleaved, because yeah, you need cleaved. to actually be able to say now, those are our relatives, mm -hmm. actually they become relatives, mm -hmm. because now the family is the two of you. Mm -hmm. The rest are, they are family, but they are relatives. Mm -hmm. But I think sometimes we put them like they are part of this nuclear family, mm -hmm. and they are bringing interference. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. I realize there are a lot of areas yeah, where people of actually conflict and we yeah. can continue with this and conversation. On on. But probably because of time, then maybe we can give some of the solutions to when we have da disagreements in, in our marriages. You know, and I know we've given some already. I like what you brought out about the issue of sex. People can benchmark. Mm -hmm. People need to be open. I realize that the area of sex, actually, the biggest issue we have, again, from our growing up, is that we don't discuss these things. Mm -hmm. Many couples don't really sit mm -hmm. and decide, it, maybe have a date night and say, let's talk about our, our, our sex life. Mm -hmm. You know, they can talk about money, they can talk about children, but they don't, they find, because we were not, it, maybe it's not how we were cultured and cultured to talk about it. And we, or even talking to other people. So some people are suffering very, very much, quietly. 
and the marriage is dying but they will not talk to anybody but i think we need to learn to talk to other people you know and openly be able to discuss this even if we are not talking about our problems we can bring it up oh, as yeah. a topic when mm -hmm. we meet together with other couples and talk about these things mm -hmm. now to you will glean some wisdom mm -hmm. that can actually help the marriage when you think about us especially because we are christians we are believers uh, how are some of the ways that we can work through our differences, work through these disagreements, so that our marriages will continue to thrive? Pastor Lea, maybe you can uh, tell us what you're thinking. Okay, we have, as we have talked, I'm sure we have touched on a few ways that you yeah. can solve the conflicts. Mm -hmm. And uh, like this one he has just mentioned about in laws, as we intentionally felt that we should not let in-laws interfere with our marriage. Yeah. Because somebody said uh, when you get married, there are some people who like are MPs, members of parliament, <laughs> in their homes. <laughs> so they represent their homes in that wow. new <laughs> family. Yes. So I am an MP of our place. Mm. I want to make sure things are done uh, yes. from the resources mm. we mm. have. Yes. I make sure that our home is catered for. <laughs> it's well represented. It's well represented. He also makes sure that his home is well represented in this parliament. Uh -huh. But uh, it's very, we decided to intentionally be careful mm. about our parents and our relatives mm. and what to expect from us. Yeah. So I remember uh, at one point we agreed that uh, if my ma her, his mother is to be helped, mm. to be done for something, I become the forefront mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. yeah, wisdom. If it's money yeah. to be given, I'm yeah. the forefront person. Mm. Yeah. If it's the other side, he's the forefront person. Mm. So they will never think that uh, they can approach him mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. privately yeah. for some help, mm. or I wouldn't know what yeah. is happening. Yeah. And it has worked so well because mm -hmm. my mother-in-law feels that I'm the person mm. who can instigate help for, for, for her, for her yes. and even the other way around. And so also, that also gives you a good name in that home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because yeah. The, to say the truth, <coughs> when kukuja umekuja, mm -hmm. so you re kind of remain an outsider. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. this outsider can, the mm -hmm. CV naweza kuongezewa to boga point, uh, mm -hmm. points, it, mm -hmm. it would be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a lot of wisdom. Yeah, because most people want, uh, like now if you are you can help your mother secretly, you mm. can help your siblings sec secretly, yeah. and it en ends up looking the other person is bad, yeah. our person is good. That's right. Yes. So, as, like, for, like that area, I would say that is my take on how you can mm. also sell out that person to the other side. Mm. Yeah. And, and that also eliminates the, the conflict in that we have agreed Mm -hmm. See, if you've already agreed, this is how we will do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also look at the needs, mm -hmm. you know, so that we are not fighting over, oh, you know, you bought your mother two kilos mm -hmm. of sugar, mm -hmm. and me, Mrs. Janunulia Wangu, mm -hmm. we, we are looking at what the need is in the family. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. Bishop, what are some of the ways we can resolve conflict as, as godly people, so that we are not having, you know, because we've had a lot of issues of even violence, Mm -hmm. People even harming each other, it comes from a conflict that has mm -hmm. been escalated to another level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I normally use controversial methods mm. of uh, <laughs> solving conflict. Yeah. Um, because that's what people use. Yes. And maybe it works for them, mm. but some of those, they destroy those marriages completely. Mm. Number one, is to fight, mm -hmm. fight physically. Yeah. Because why people fight physically is a way of solving conflict. Yeah. And uh, it's also coming from the culture and uh, they are bringing mm. that if you went to a market and Namuto mm. Abuchokose, the next thing that you're on top of each other, <laughs> running and fighting. Yes. And that's how people used to solve their conflicts. Mm -hmm. And people bring it to marriage. Mm. That uh, the moment uh, you disagree a little bit with your wife, Makofi mm. and uh, fighting. Now you ask yourself if I use this method of solving the conflict, this yeah. is how I solve the conflict. Yeah. Has the problem gone? Mm -hmm. Has Good the problem question. gone? Yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Has the problem gone? So you can fight. 
if you want. Mm. And there are consequences. The next thing, the next way you can solve conflict is to shout. Mm -hmm. You can yell and shout and uh, take cups and break things. Mm. That's how. Well, that's what some people do. Yeah. Uh, yelling, shouting, mm. but does it solve the problem? By the way, if you are a man who shouts, if you are a woman who shouts to solve conflict, I realize people get used to you. They do. They get used to you like yes. the boy used to shout, uh, oof, oof. Yes. <laughs> when the real oof came, there was nobody to save him. Yes. So shouting does not solve the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, you, you have to make sure, you, you have to reach a place in the house, where in, in your marriage, whereby mm -hmm. in your family, whereby you decide that uh, I will not shout, I will mm -hmm. not be shouting, yeah. unless if there is a snake mm -hmm. or there is a f <laughs> there is fire. That's uh, right. <laughs> you, you you don't just shout. Oh, yeah. there is a thief. So that if you shout, people know there is actually. Yes. Yeah, so that when uh, you shall Amazing. shout, yes. people know that there is a problem. <laughs> so don't shout, men. Don't shout. Yeah. Shouting does not solve problems. And this you have to unlearn, depending on how you are You got to up. unlearn. Yes. Because that's how we, our parents used to. <laughs> By the way, in the old times, <laughs> uh, I was, I, I don't want to tell my wife because mm. she didn't grow in the village, yeah. we would have men, mm. ama women, waki piga makerere. Mzee mm. mm. kasirika na simama pahali, yeah. na piga makerere. So unge kuta wazee watatu, yeah. in the whole village, kuna moja na piga makerere, kuna mungini ya uku, kuna mungini ya uku. That's true. Na anyamazi, yeah. baka zaide hiyo kitu itaisha. Ama apige mutu. Ama women who wa, wadiku wana piga duru. Ama wa, wanawaku wana piga duru, ama wana, mm. wana piga niya duru. Yeah. Kuna mutu who would come to you. You know, to, to just uh, come to Kukuta. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, just to make noise. So you make noise and she makes noise and you, so she makes noise. <laughs> But you yeah. can be sure they have not subdued it. <laughs> Please, if you've been making shouting, you're a steamer in your house. Just stop it. It doesn't solve it. You can you, you can remember the last time you made noise between you and your wife, whether the problem was solved. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> you just imagined two fools, yeah. you know. Two fools. Came or maybe out. you intimidated somebody to fear you so that yes. now they don't even raise an issue. And you are in a static or a dying marriage Thank mm. you. because they learned if I sh if we if he shouts, mm. then mimi na mm. Number three, you can decide to talk. Yes. Mm -hmm. You and your spouse. Yeah. You look for a conducive atmosphere. You look for a conducive time. Yeah. You talk. You don't talk to somebody when he is very agitated, mm -hmm. when he is very high. Yeah. You let the temper <coughs> cool down, and then go somewhere, talk, mm -hmm. and. Uh, one of the sources of conflict, of course, is lack of communication. That's right. Yeah. And whereby you say, I will never talk about this again, I will never talk about this again, I will <laughs> never talk. Yeah. Anything that you have decided not to talk about, it, is a, it becomes a building mm. block to a wall that right. you are building in between them. Yeah. You can be here, there is a wall. Mm. Everything that we have not discussed, it is a, it is a, it's block. a block. It's a block. It's a Amazing. Block. At the end of the day, you find you have built a big wall. Yeah. yeah. And you, that's why people have to shout. Mm. So that somebody can hear you. <laughs> From the other side of the wall. <laughs> the wall is too thick. Yeah, because the wall is very, very thick. Because yeah. if you build it high, high enough, yeah. you start another one. Mm. You start another layer. You start another layer. So you find that in your marriage, there are quite a number of layers. I'm liking what you're saying there. That, you know, sometimes people say, I will never talk about this I'll again. never talk about and this. And in saying that, basically, you have actually decided we are not communicating about this. You have actually built a wall yeah, on it's that a block. issue. And, yeah. and there are families that reach a place where the, the certain issues are too hot mm -hmm. to handle. Mm -hmm. Because we decided this one to kiongea to napikananga, so wachana nayo. Wachana nayo. But it is not resolved. Soon you will find that you have nothing to talk. True. You find that you are not talking now at all. Yeah. Because you are not talking about this, you are not talking about those children again, you are not talking about money again, you are not talking about that sex again, you are not talking about... I will not even have it church. again. <laughs> I will not have it again. So you find that now, you have nothing to talk about again in marriage. May the Lord help May us. May the Lord help us. <laughs> so, you, yeah. you have to really communicate. Mm. You have to really communicate.
Wow. And uh, finally, mm -hmm. seeking help. Mm -hmm. Seeking help. Important. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. uh, Kunapadi na Vikanda. Yeah. Or na Hapa. At West, especially there, 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 there are those walls. Mm -hmm. They are creating. Um, they are. They are. They are. They are creating our, our marriage now is dying mm. we need people to talk to to resuscitate and there are people that you can talk to. number one every family yeah. must have an accountability partner uh -huh. or accountability partners yeah people that you can run to mm. people that you can talk with Amen. don't run to your parents mm. don't run to your relatives because Talk they can't be objective they will not be objective. when it comes to both of you mm. yeah they will yeah. be on your side yeah mm -hmm. yeah Mm. Don't run to them. Mm. Have accountability partners. Mukawa mm. kwa this is our faith is mm. faith and Peter, they are our accountability partners. Yeah. So is our accountability partners. If the worst gets to the worst, you can talk to them. Yeah. Then number two we have the pastor. Mm. Every person must have a pastor. You can talk to your pastor. Mm. You can talk to your spiritual leader. <coughs> and uh, number three, we have the the therapist, mm -hmm. the marriage mm -hmm. therapist. Yes. Uh, then as a, the the list can grow mm. depending on your social capital, Amen. depending on how many people, how you have built your life. Yeah. But if you don't have, if you if you, if you don't talk, your marriage will just die. It will die. Ed, don't talk to your children. <laughs> mm, that's right. Those don't talk to you about problems in your marriage. Yeah. They also cannot be objective. They will not and be you objective. are actually mm. just giving them something to stress about. Mm. You stress them. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so Maybe much. You know, I, I realize actually our time is gone and oh, we need gone. to pray for the families wow. because I'm sure as they're listening to us, there are people who are saying my marriage is in the ward, others in the HDU, mm -hmm. others in, in the ICU, and others it's driving, but they can see. Mm -hmm. areas where they have built maybe some walls that are coming up and I would want us to pray for them just because of them but that's have been a very interesting conversation and I love the way you've wrapped it up Bishop mm -hmm. that uh, we need to talk keep talking if we can't talk we need to have other people that mm -hmm. we know we can go to an accountability couple Yes. People that you trust. Those are must be people who are mature, whose marriage is working, and they are they are they can be keep you accountable. Then you can talk to your pastor. You need to have a spiritual authority that you can go to, and then there is also professional help. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I say something before yeah. we Yes, to? please. Yes. The word of God is structured to mm. help families, mm -hmm. so somebody can also be a word person, it yeah. will always speak to you about what you can do. Amen. Then uh, there is a book I would uh, recommend yeah. called Love and Respect by somebody called Dr. Emerson. Mm -hmm. So if you can get it, it can help you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing about that resource, uh, Love and Respect. That's mm -hmm. a book you can get even in our bookshops in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Our viewers, that book will help you. Other people have used it and it has been very helpful mm -hmm. because there is a cycle of love and mm -hmm. respect between mm -hmm. the husband mm -hmm. and the wife. Thank you, thank you so, so much for, for um, the, you know, the great wisdom that you have brought. And you have said something very important. The word of God has a solution for marriage. Mm. The word of God has actually a solution for everything in life. Whether mm. it's your sex life, mm. it talks about it. Mm. Money, it talks about it. Mm. Relatives, it talks about it. Mm. It says we, we live and cleave. Everything mm. is actually in there. Mm. Even parenting, mm. it is all there. And so if we, we become people that will have the word of God dwell richly in our hearts, mm. even our marriages will be helped. And I want to say the last one, praying together. Mm. Mm. Praying together even when you have conflict is a very important yes, thing. Yes. If you can't agree on an issue, mm -hmm. pray about it. And I think I would say that's something we have seen oh, working oh, in our yeah. own marriage. Oh. My husband and I, when we have an issue, it's a project, we can't agree, it is a direction, we can't agree, we say, let's commit it to the Lord in prayer. And he actually brings a solution along the way. Oh. Sometimes you don't feel like praying in the middle of an, an argument, but actually prayer can actually soften the hearts. And because we are submitting ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Mm. So thank you so much, our viewers. Before we wind up, I want Bishop uh, Robert to pray for the families uh, that the Lord may help them. Please. Maybe you are there and you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. 
will not close this program before I appeal to you. I tell you what has really helped us is to know the Lord. What has made this work easier is to know Jesus. So I tell you, if you don't know Jesus, Jesus helps marriages. God helps marriages. Commit your life to Jesus. Some of these things, you cannot just do them as a human being. You need divine power. So if you don't know the Lord, invite him into your heart, invite him in your marriage, and he will help you. Jesus was invited in the canal of Galilee, and when there was no wine, he, he, he transformed water into mm -hmm. wine. Mm -hmm. If there is no wine in your marriage, Jesus, if you invite him in your marriage, he is going to transform that lack of wine. He will transform the waters in your marriage into what you need or what is needed. May the Lord bless you, shall we pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to bless you for this uh, program. The Lord, my Father, you have given us today. Thank you, Father, for the discussion. I want to pray for the marriages. Marriages. People who have listened to us. People who are watching us, Jehovah God. People who have watched us and uh, listened to this point that, Lord, you have enabled us to bring. There are some of them who are, whose marriages are between a uh, rock and a uh, hard place. I want to pray that, Father, you are going to help them. May you help those marriages that are static, and those marriages that are dying, mm -hmm. those people who are struggling in marriages, the marriage that is the verge of breaking. Mm -hmm. Father, I want to pray that, Lord, you are going to resuscitate it. You are going to reinstate it. Mm -hmm. You are going, Father, by God, to do something new in that marriage. Yes. May you receive a miracle in your marriage right now. Mm -hmm. May the Lord restore your marriage. Mm -hmm. May the Lord do a new thing thing in your marriage right now. May you forgive your husband. May you forgive your wife. Even if it is what or what. May the Lord give you forgiveness and bring joy into your marriage. Father, I want to pray that you are going to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you again so much, uh, Bishop Robert and Leah, for being here. You have been such a blessing. And I know that our viewers will be blessed. And I want to believe that if somebody uh, would want to get more help, they can always get to us, uh, get uh, help. They can always uh, write to the number on your screen. You can write and say you, you would want help. If you would want to contact Bishop uh, Jiro or Leah, you can also write there and we would be able to have you talk to them because I'm sure they can help you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bring restoration and renewal in your marriage. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye -bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.